We're ready. At this time, I'd like to call the special meeting of the Plaquemines Parish Council as the sole governing authority for the Port of Plaquemines to order for May the 9th. And we have an electronic problem, so we will do a verbal roll call. Here. Councilmember Here. Here. Let the record reflect that we have a quorum with uh, Mr. Arbro being absent, Mr. Blink, and Mr. Konovich are out today. So we have six members. At this time, I'd like to ask that we uh, rise for the prayer and have the pledge led by uh, Mr. Newberry. Well, we take this moment to acknowledge Almighty God and thank him for our bountiful blessings, especially for the parish's natural resources. We give thanks to God for our brave and courageous men and women in our military who daily risk their lives to protect our precious freedom, and we pray for our world leaders to know how to obtain world peace. We also pray for the people of Ukraine and that you provide a path to peace and to stop the senseless killings. We pray that this government body comprised of both council and administration will always serve our parish with honesty, humility, and equality to all. And as this government body gathers here today, we pray for the wisdom to know right from wrong and the courage to do that which is right. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance Thank you all for uh, taking time out to make this special meeting today. It's an uh, important issue that Mr. Bartholomew has been working on for some time, and uh, I'll ask the secretary to read the first item. Item 2A, introductions wherein resolutions are being sought. Item number one, a resolution authorizing the executive director, Menard Sandy Sanders, enter to enter into an agreement with Alliance Transportation, Inc. to provide technical support to the port to complete task items as applicable to the port's ferry grant application and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. At this time, I'd like to ask for a suspension of rules to take that matter up for consideration in today's meeting. Offer. Oh, second. Okay. Any comments on the suspension? Hearing none, please call the roll. Yes. 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 At this time, the rules stand suspended. We'd like the secretary to read the resolution. Now, so offer an extra second. 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 My council member Thalamy. What this is is, uh, in fact, I'll let Mr. Thalamy, if you want to, uh, give a little history on this resolution, real quick, as far as why the need. It's the support that we uh, legislation that is needed to finalize the efforts on the ferries uh, and ferry ramps in Point Lahash, and with through the state department and state. Uh, Department of Transportation requires that we go through a process and in that process there's an application that needs to be filled and complete within the May 23rd if I'm not mistaken by May 23rd and because of the the language and the graphics of the uh, information that's required we don't have anybody on in hand in house I should say uh, with the port our parish at this point in time that can handle that particular situation, uh, that c application. So this is why it's required that we try to move forward with this uh, resolution to give the deputy the, uh, director an opportunity to hire somebody who's familiar with the process. And that means uh, by doing that, we will have this thing completely done before the 20, 23rd so we can move forward with the grant and the construction of the ramps in Point Lash. Uh, Mr. Bartholomew, does this also include a ferry? No, not this particular grant because it hasn't been finalized yet. 
and it's, it's a ferry coming up with that. It's the uh, three ferries that are being proposed in the state of Louisiana, according to the Secretary of State. And out of the three, he said he would recommend that we could get one. Hopefully that we can uh, get one of those ferries. And we have to maintain a certain amount of percentages of finance to support that. Now, the, the thing that I was working on was mainly was the ramps up front. Now, if this includes that, I'm not aware of that. Maybe the general can, can tell you if it includes the ferry or not. But I know what we're in the process of doing. We haven't had the final word on the ferries itself. At least I haven't, I'll put it to you like that. Well, it was my understanding that the purpose was to provide the documentation and you can opine on it. The, uh, this will allow us to get in line for a grant for up to $25 million for a ferry. But I'll let the... Uh, yeah. Sanders. So what this will do is uh, move us in the direction for the application to be submitted for the ferry as well. That's including both of them? That must have been the addendum added to the last conversation I had with the secretary because I wasn't aware of that. Yeah. It's, sure. He's not on. Right. Is there a, a match on this grant? There is a match on the ferry ramps. So yeah, the ferry ramp. Um, this this is, is this is not our application. This is a state application. So this application is for the ferry ramps and the ferry, or just the ramps? To my understanding, this is the ferry. The ferry ramp is another thing that we're working on right now. But this is for the ferry. It is a state application that Department of Transportation and development. It's their application. They have hired HNTB to be their engineering firm to put the application together. There's some needed information on that application that is required from us. We neither have the organic ability nor does uh, Hilda to provide that information. So in trying, attempting to keep up with the timeline, that's why it's necessary to hire this outside contractor. Um, this, this contractor has told the state that he can match the timeline and also provide the data. This individual has also done what's called the TAM for the parish, which is the transportation asset management. So he's rip roaring, ready to go. Yeah, I know this is rushed. Um, can when you get some more information about this grant, can you let us know if there's a match to it and what we're looking at? I'll run that to ground. But this is a state application. What is the where 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 are we all with the ramps? Because that's the thing that that what I've information I received from the secretary was dedicated towards the ramps that I passed we, on to you. We are still working that the ramps uh, along with the parish with Todd Epley. We have. Uh, at the last meeting, we adopted legislation uh, including the Regional Planning Commission's resolution citing language in there. We have moved the ramp project over to the port through the Regional Planning Commission and DOTD, and that project is on its way uh, to being transferred. It was also my understanding, as Mr. Sanders stated, that this was for the ferry itself, and that way uh, this information that will be gathered by this consultant will be plugged into the state's application because they don't have the information and that's why we're having to pay this consultant money to be able to gather that information, insert it into the application, and when the state submits the application, uh, then perhaps we'll be granted uh, funding to build a ferry. Yes, sir. And that's my understanding anyway. When, what is the time frame for the ramps that, that, since the uh, last conversation you had with the engineer? The last time I spoke to them, they were uh, rounding up the completion of the engineering and design. Design, yeah. And yes, so, sir. But uh, as far as the timeline, I, I'll get back with you on that. Yeah, because we have to, they have to give us, uh, it's a matching, we have to do some matching on that. I'm certain we do. Yeah, I know we do. But that's yeah. what I was trying to hurry up and get that out the way. Because okay. if we have a time frame on this, this money into the, uh, the courthouse fund, because that's limited, we can't. Hold it forever. 
And see, it's some kind where we got misconstrued on that. At least I did, because they're telling me one thing, and here we're doing it's something altogether different, uh, mainly efforts on the ferry itself, not the ferry ramps and the ferries. I think the ferry ramps are well on their way. Yeah, as far as engineering is, but the, the design for commitment, we have to find out the cost and ex exactly our share of uh, it's going to cost us. I know the design, the state is doing the design, right, correctly. That's the design. I'm, I'm reading this right off the scope of services. The purpose of the funding request is provide design and construction for a new ferry boat for Point Alahash. The grant is for replacing existing facilities at both landings at the Point Alahash. So it is for for both. For the boat. Yeah, for the design and construction of the new ferry and the ramps. And the ramps? Yes, sir. Okay. We're replacing existing facilities at both lands. So it's both. It's, it's, it's both. That is correct. Okay. Thought that's what. It, so that, attached to the um, the resolution. And that yeah. Was that was sent out to everyone. But see, the ferry came in afterwards, after we were working on the ramps. Right. I know you're aware of that. And then the last time I went up there, that's when it's a possibility that that could happen. And they said it was going to, but we need to talk about it and get that straight. But since after that, they had contact with you about that, General, and they gave you the information, so now we're moving forward. That's fine. Well, the scope of services for the yeah. consultant that we're hiring. Yeah, I know. And so he will yeah. provide whatever information is required of DOTD to fulfill those two, uh, to two items in the scope. Right. That is correct. Right. All right. Any further comments on the resolution? Hearing none. Councilmember Bartholomew? Yes. Councilmember Black? Yes. Councilmember Gooey? Yes. Councilmember Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Newberry? Yes. Councilmember LaFrance? Yes. And the item is adopted six to zero. No further business coming forth today. I want to thank everybody for uh, taking time out of their schedule to make this important meeting. And uh, without that, we'll offer. Offer to adjourn. Councilmember Bartholomew is adjourned. Councilmember France seconds. Call the roll, please. Councilmember Bartholomew? Yes. Councilmember Black? Yes. Councilmember Gooey? Yes. Councilmember Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Newberry? Yes. Councilmember LaFrance? Yes. And the meeting is adjourned at 1017. Thank you all.